everybody thank you for joining me today so on today's video I wanted to continue with the one sheet wonders that we did and I was thinking about what ways could we make the inside of the cards just as nice as the outside so this is the Technique Tuesday uh, stamp set I originally got it from the boutique it's called inspired dragonfly and it has the matching die set and what I decided to do was take my Distress Oxide inks and stamp the Dragonfly again in the center of each of my uh, sheets. And what I did is I took a, a white sheet of paper and just cut it at 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. And what I'm going to do is, once I have them all stamped, I'm going to take the Happy Birthday from the stamp set that came in the March kit. And you could do any one of these. You could do the inside sentiment. Um, you could do happy, or I think one of them is like birthday wishes, something about sending birthday wishes. You can do whatever you want on the inside. For me, I just wanted to put the happy birthday. And we're going to stamp the happy birthday in the pigment ink that also came in the set right on top of the dragonfly so that the dragonfly kind of sits towards the back and the happy birthday is on top and then all we're going to do is um, attach these to the inside of the cart and on these first two we're going to leave them just like that just plain the dragonfly and the happy birthday and since we just used this ink remember that it does stay wet a little bit longer than your dye inks so when I go to you know press it and make sure it's down you'll see me a few times turn it upside down and then I rub from the back side so that way um, I don't smudge anything and even if I do I love my mono eraser the little sand eraser from Tombow let me tell you this thing is a magic what did we ever do before this I think we would just scrap it and do it again, right? <laughs> now you don't have to. You just take this eraser and it takes it right out. So for those two, I left them plain, but you can also use your sticker sheet. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So what I decided to do here is I'm going to pick, I wanna say a banner off the sticker sheet, but I'm going to attach it after I do the happy birthday. And with the happy birthday, I could have used the Misty tool or, you know, your um, tonic, the one with Tim Holtz. Um, it's fine. Whichever one works best for you, whichever one you like. Um, okay. So actually for this one, I just decided on a little sticker. So it can be as complicated or as simple as that. Just a simple little sticker on the bottom corner just to give a little added interest inside the card. And then there's two more done. And doing this actually is helping me finish out these cards. Because I have 30 cards. So I have to get 30 insides done. <laughs> and put on the inside. But it's a great way to use your other pieces. A lot of times when it comes with the paper collections. Um, I know I always have trouble with the sticker sheet. I really never know what to do with it. I feel like I waste it. Like it's almost like why did I bother getting that? But I decided um, probably a long time ago, not a long time ago, probably I would say last year to start using things that maybe I normally wouldn't just to get outside my own little box, you know, and doing it this way, even using those little small stickers, I'm still using them I, and before I wasn't. So and that's what matters. So on the next set of cards, I looked over the sticker sheet again, and I realized, you know what, I like these banners. I think it'd be super cute with a little banner up in the top. And I wind up having a little smudge, and on the sticker, I didn't want to risk using the Tombow eraser, so I'm just putting a little heart on it. And then we're going to stamp the happy birthday. And go ahead and tape that up. Now, there is one that I want to show you. Um, a couple of the cards are more horizontal than vertical. And even though I've pre-stamped all the dragonflies going in a particular direction, um, I'm going to show you 
that you can still use them for those cards as well. So if by chance you ever stamp something and it's not in the right direction, the beauty of it being just plain white paper is you can flip it over, stamp it again, and no one would know. Only you'd know because you made the card. But for our purposes, I'm just going to leave it. I'm okay with it being kind of to the side. Um, and I'm just going to stamp the happy birthday right on it, just like we did before. Sorry I'm off camera here. Um, sometimes I forget that <laughs> that my part of my mat is cut off. And then you'll see me, I'll stretch my arms out because I think I'm in camera and I'm not. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And then for this one, there was another one. It wasn't a banner. It was like a little oval shape. Yeah. And it's got a little scalloped edge. But it's just a little something, something. Just to put on the inside. And it still works. It still works. And then, oh, here's the one. There's a wishing you a fabulous day. We could have put that on the inside. That would have been really pretty. Um, there's a lot of different options. And I... What I love best is that something so simple using wonderful sentiments and these, this happy birthday set really does help build your stash because who doesn't make birthday cards, right? I guess if you're not a card maker, <laughs> you probably don't. But you can also use your ephemera on the inside. Instead of like giving it dimension, you can just tape it straight down if you don't want to stamp inside. So there's a lot of different options that you have. Um, what I'm going to show you here is my idea for this is, say I want to give some to a, a friend as a gift. I can take five envelopes, five cards, and tie them up with some lace. And we have a really pretty gift set. All you have to do, you can tie it in a knot. Um, you're going to see I'm going to wind up knotting it and then tying it with a bow. But I just wanted you to see, like, there's all kinds of ways that you could hook this up. What if you have some jute, some twine? You can wrap the twine around it and knot it. Um, you could attach, I'm going to pull out an ephemera piece. What if you use that as a tag? It already has a saying on it. You can just write the recipient's name on the back or write a message to them on the back and make it really super cute. And it goes with the paper collection. Those are just, you know, some ideas for you guys. Okay, you guys. So thanks again for joining me. And make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Um, at the very end, I will have links to previous Technique Tuesday videos. And please, if you, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, click on my photo. And you'll get alerts whenever I upload new content. And make sure you check out Scrapbooking with me.com the link will be down below there's some great clearance albums on sale and um use my coupon code tt15 to get an extra discount thank you guys so much and have a great day